chocolate brain. From amateur music videos, you twist the front side, to the secrets of solving Rubik's Cube, 100 million people log on to YouTube every month, making it the number one online video source. Dancing, singing, and stumping. 15 hours of new content are posted to the free video website every minute. In just three years, making those clips has gone from an offbeat hobby to a steady source of income for many. How much do you make? I, I do well. I do over six figures a year. It's really? Good. Yeah. 33-year-old Michael Buckley cashes in out of a second bedroom in his home. I wasn't going to waste time going on castings and putting myself out there. I just wanted to create my own vehicle, and I did. She thinks, oh, it's great. His high-energy two-minute show, What the Buck, a play on his last name, is the product of a $2,000 camera, a pair of work lights, and a $6 backdrop. What the Buck, what are you guys doing on New Year's Eve? Did they call you? They did. They, they did. called yeah. you? Yeah. Last year, YouTube invited its most popular, most watched contributors to partner with them by adding banner ads to the bottom of video clips. For every thousand hits, advertisers pay 15 to 20 bucks. Buckley Show ranks number eight on the website. Is this the only way this could have happened for you? I do believe so. I mean, I do believe that the internet was my route to any sort of success. Really Applause! Yay! I'm a beef ambassador. I'm spreading the word. I was working as a bartender at a bar in Dayton, Ohio. Joel Moss Levinson took a more roundabout path to cyber celebrity. About a year ago, this 28-year-old college dropout started entering contests to make online web commercials and winning. Anytime I win another one, it just makes the story better. So I'll just enter everything. My favorite place is Maine. 35 low-budget viral videos later, half in the win column, he's earned $200,000 in cash, prizes, and trips to far off and exotic places. My Klondike bar in the Arctic, in front of the polar bears. While he admits he's not much of a musician, he's become the most successful modern-day jingle artist online. What, what do they say? If, if you find something you love, you never work a day in your life? A new vocation for a YouTube generation. Michelle Miller, CBS News, Meriden, Connecticut.